So this is the final episode where we make fursuit paws. Uh, if you have not seen the previous episodes, go ahead and watch those first, but we are making big plush paws and this is the final episode. We only have a few things on the list of things to do. So for step number one, we gotta finish the actual neck of the, of the ankle. So this is gonna be all hidden by the bodysuit, but we actually need to get this done first because the liner is gonna tie into that. And we also need to create a lip around the edge, or probably fleece. Once we get all that done, we can do the very exciting task of actually just stuffing this full of polyfill. After that, we have a retrospective and then we can model these off and see how they look. I'm very excited. Let's go ahead and get started with creating the ring for your ankle. So I've got my template here, all the arrows line up. I'm actually making kind of a funnel shape because the ankle hole is wider than we want it to be. So we're gonna funnel that down into a narrow point. So what I've done here is made two marks here. So we're gonna connect it like this, like this. And then now you can see that we're gonna have this kind of V shape at the bottom and that's just gonna allow it to funnel in and we'll, this will all be fur here. So let's get started. So let's first draw out the pattern. And then if you've ever done this before, it is very easy. Uh, making cylinders, I think, is probably one of the first things you learn how to do. The first couple you do are very difficult, but ah, once you get the hang of it, it's very satisfying. And again, I'm just kind of remembering to neck that out so that the base of it is larger than the top. And then, of course, we need two of these. And then another arrow, one for each paw. So same exact process, tracing it all out. And then we're just gonna hop these on the sewing machine and then zip them shut. And then I'll bring you guys back once these parts are finished. I returned. So we have made our little ankle guys. What's gonna happen next is that they need to be pinned to the neck for around the top of the foot and then sewn together. I don't think there's an easy way to use a sewing machine for this because this is a pretty narrow opening. So we're gonna have to unfortunately hand sew all of this. It's not gonna be hard, it's just gonna take a hot minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I'm gonna come back to you when this guy is all sewn together. It's also make very excellent little like wristy things. They're just very fun. If you make tubes of fur, they're very satisfying. I'll be right back and then I'll show you everything put together. Can you believe it? After all this time, we have all the fur actually put together. All the parts are here. We're missing like two things, but we are finally ready to just pound some polyfill onto this thing. So I have regular old, let's see if I can't show you on the camera here. It's just polyfill like you get from like Michaels or whatever other crop store. And what I'm gonna do is everywhere inside of it, because remember a long time ago, we got the sleeve, and this in this sleeve is where your actual human ankle foot's gonna go, and everywhere else, all the void is just gonna be pure polyfill. So I'm gonna grab a bunch of that, just so I don't have to keep grabbing more. It's gonna be a lot in here. If you've ever dealt with plush suits before, they it's so much more polyfill than you ever expect. And whenever you pull it all out, it's like give this mountain of just plastic in your in your house. So this is all just gonna come to shape. It's very satisfying stuffing the stuff in here. It's very cathartic. Uh, let's see. And there's a lot of, uh, it's just a lot of space in there. We're just gonna fill it in. So I wanna talk about kind of the next steps in this project. This, is, this, this foot here is coming to the end. I don't think I'm gonna show off the, the hands on video. I think instead we're gonna focus on more short form sketches and maybe some printmaking, stuff like that. I think having to learn how to use a video camera and also learn how to make a first at the same time was asking a lot. I've learned a lot from this project. Um, I'm very excited to go forward with other stuff, but I think maybe learning two things at once is just too daunting for any normal, any mortal human being. So I think the next thing to do is probably gonna be something I'm already fairly familiar with. So almost certainly some sort of art form, uh, traditional media, maybe some kind of crafty project, I don't know. I have, some, I have some very exciting ideas. I, I, will, I will hold off on talking about them yet. We'll brush all this too. Uh, it's coming together. It's much bigger than I anticipated, but it's very soft. Like you can squish it. Um, let's get back here. So step-wise, the next thing after this 
we need to add a lip on this top part here. And that's gonna keep all this stuff together. So what we're gonna do is kind of fold this over. She gonna give you like this, and I'm gonna take some black felt and then just kind of outline it and then just sew all that down. That'll be a really easy like final touch and it's gonna take two seconds. And then I think honest to goodness, this whole project will be done. I'm very excited to move on. Uh, just, just to get, just to move forward. Feels like this, this foot's been living in my apartment for a long time. Sort of, I was just a little baby, it's just a piece of plastic. But here it is. I already did the other one, so let me show you that one. I was too excited. I, I, I could not wait. It, it's funny how asymmetrical they are. Okay, we're dilly dallying now. Let's go ahead and finish this off. I think we're not, I think this is a perfect amount of padding, and it's, we can always add more in the future, just by popping open a seam, which is not a big deal. Let's go ahead and add this lip. That'd be really fun. I've gone ahead and gotten you guys a better view. So what I'm doing here is I'm just pinning everything down together, and then we're gonna pin our felt right over this as, after we cut our excess. Ah. Do we need to cut our excess first? Um, yeah, probably. Let's do that really quick. I was like cutting stuff with scissors. It's fun. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball this. I can't possibly imagine this will be too hard. It's, we just gotta get a long strip, fold it over. So you already had this kind of marked. As long as, it, I, I, again, this, this is all gonna be hidden by the first dude anyways, so it's not gonna be super, super important. Though, I mean, if you do anything, do it right. So I'm just gonna chop all this. I should not be eyeballing this. I really have no excuses. I could grab a template, but I'm very excited. I feel like this project's been a long time coming. There we go, chop that. So you have a beautifully symmetrical cut. Perfect, and this is too long, but I'm not worried. So I'm gonna take it right in the center, right here. Move our little clip over, and then it's gonna work our way down. Just go one clip at a time. Around, almost done. Just a single pin left. Actually two more, so we're gonna do one at the end. Get that one. And then we'll just chop that off. So I oh, probably a foot left. And then we can just tuck one of them and have the other one go over and that's gonna look totally fine. So there's our original, original guy. Get his friend on top of him. And now we have uh, one solid piece. See, there we go. And that looks much better. If hopefully you could have seen that. And then get a good view for you inside of it. Okay, so let's go ahead and sew this together. For simplicity's sake, I'm just gonna go ahead and knock the oven out. Okay. Can you believe it? <laughs> Look at them, we got big plush pods, we finally finished. They are definitely big and poofy and they're very soft and squishy. So it's everything they'd wanted and probably a little bit more. I think the plush claws are probably my personal favorite. The sole is really good too. For first time, I think I'm pretty excited, pretty, I'm pretty impressed with how it turned out. So for next time, definitely getting big, big toes on it. I think that's gonna be a huge improvement. These are a bit taller than I expected, but overall, very good. The next part of this project, I'm calling this totally complete, is gonna be the hand pause. I don't think I'm gonna show you that on the camera. Instead, I have something really cool with mixed media to show you instead. That'll be coming up in the future. Get excited for it. I will make a follow-up video once everything with the first is complete, like maybe like a character dance around or something like that. That'll be a lot of fun, and that'll be the next time you see the first suit. Uh, thanks, for, uh, thanks for joining me on this cool little project where I make big plush paws for the first time. It's been really fun. It's been a lot of fun learning how to use a video camera. Get excited for some stuff in the future. I have some cool ideas. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe.